Okay. Get out! While protecting the Earth from assassins and terrorists belonging to other galaxies, the franchise has given the audience a massive number of power-wrecking weapons. However, the firearm Noisy Cricket comes with the smallest pocket, but is full of surprises and tremendous power. Despite its small size, the Noisy Cricket is known for its extreme power and recoil, and is used by the Men in Black to battle extraterrestrial threats. This video will explore how a small firearm comes with the most powerful punches. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. No good to us. What is the Noisy Cricket, and why is it so relevant in the Men in Black franchise? Men in Black has delivered four outstanding installments, with more on the way. Throughout the franchise, there have been glorious and wonderful moments when Noisy Cricket was used. The firearm makes precisely the sound of a cricket while in use, thus it has got its name, Noisy Cricket. When Agent J gets his firearm from Agent K in the first installment, the gun fits right into his palm. Specifically, the firearm is given to the new recruiters in the highly funded non-government agency. It's given to all rookies as a lesson and a joke because they place bets on how far the agents would fly off upon firing it. But Noisy Cricket is no joke. Most of the agents in the agency would want giant alien and deadly looking guns to begin with. However, they get the weapon with the cricket sound. It teaches them and us that we should not judge a firearm by its size. Just like anyone would mock the size of the gun, Agent J, played by Will Smith, carries it around reluctantly too. He thinks of how he could break the damn thing when in reality, he was sent back soaring upon the recoil of it. While fighting Edgar the Bug, Edgar manages to escape. Jay tries to stop him with the help of Noisy Cricket. He's thrown back screaming in a weird yet funny way each time he fires it. Shocked by its recoil and power to blast its way through thick concrete and make fire explosions, Noisy Cricket is the most overpowered and iconic weapon in Men in Black, primarily because of its ironic size. Despite its capability of legitimately evaporating metal into the air, it was not used in the final clash with Bug. However, it was used in an epic battle scene with Sir Lena and her minions. While Agent K was neuralized, Agent J gave him the cricket. When he regains his memory, he shoots off Jeeb's head with the weapon, kills Selena's minions, and saves Jay's life. No wonder a gun with such a fine and delicate appearance can be so destructive. How powerful and potent is the Noisy Cricket? Although the firearm has given us multiple funny moments, the question that has always been unanswered is, what science lies behind Noisy Cricket to make it this potent for Men in Black? Before diving right into the technical or scientific jargon, let us begin with the groundwork of how the weapon works. There are generally two ways to interpret it, and today we'll look into both theories. First, it's firing a bullet or something so tiny at a relatively insane velocity and speed that it causes a powerful recoil for the person firing it. In the movies, the recoil throws Agent J exactly a full smith back into a car's windshield or it is firing something heavy with a slower speed and velocity to cause such a massive kickback for him. However, firing something heavy with slower speed and velocity would not be possible when one looks at the clear and correct images of the weapon. It has a diameter of nearly three to four millimeters, so whatever it's firing would have a diameter of around one to two millimeters. Technically, it would not be possible for an object to have such a small diameter with a heavy mass. Thus, whatever it is firing is very small and light and has a speed and velocity like crazy. But first, why does a gun recoil? It's due to the law of conservation of linear momentum. It is also based on Newton's third law, which states that any object that person experiences a kickback in the opposite direction, which is equal in force. Basically, what you do with crossbow or in archery, the better the stretch of the string, the finer the shot with the required high momentum and velocity to strike the target without clumsiness, making it more understandable. It is what a rocket launcher does. The recoil exists because of the force the particles take to launch it into space, and the particles exert the same force backwards so that the rocket goes forwards. That is how Noisy Cricket recoils. Due to the movie's 
these fast happening action scenes, seeing what was coming out of the barrel was unclear. However, it is moving like nothing we have seen before. The recoil it produces sends Agent J a total of 1.88 meters back, which is precisely how tall Will Smith is. In addition to this, the backward velocity is powerful enough to move an 82 kilogram figure firing the gun, which is precisely how much Smith weighs. Now, let us dig deeper. How long did Agent J take to travel a distance of 1.88 meters? Measuring the help of real-time lapses, it would take less than a moment, approximately less than half a second to travel it. The approximate measure would be 0.17 seconds. Sounds bizarre, right? The speed would be nearly 40 kilometers an hour after the necessary conversions for a distance and time of 1.88 meters and 0.17 seconds respectively. That's how powerful the recoil was. Agent J flew from 0 kilometers an hour to 40 kilometers an hour in little time, making the acceleration deadly. The acceleration would have been no more than a few milliseconds too. So if we apply general physics here to see how much shooting force the weapon has, force is the product of mass and acceleration. Upon multiplying the acceleration and mass of Will Smith, Smith, it would have the force of approximately 4,000 newtons. Hence, it has a high moving force. After juggling the formula for force, A equals F over M, we can also calculate the acceleration of the moving object fired out of the weapon. However, that would be a task, primarily because of the complexity and certain nature of the thing fired from the bullet. But taking a logical guess at how fast the kickback pushed Agent K into a wall, and with such a high force, the acceleration would be enough to bring down a solid building. That's how powerful and capable Noisy Cricket is, capable enough to throw back an amount of weight with unbelievable acceleration and velocity. The second theory is that Noisy Cricket's not a gun to fire bullets, but a sonic projection gun. It means that it uses sonic waves to disturb the pattern of sound waves in the atmosphere that are in a state and causes them to shake and disrupt the pattern such that it leads to a blast and explodes as it hits something solid. It fires sound waves waves and disturbs the matter enough to cause a fire explosion. Technically in that case, there would not be any recoil since the object's not firing anything or a bullet out of it to get a backward velocity out of the same force. The weapon most likely gives the shock waves to dismantle its target. Hence the second theory would not fit into the scene as we have seen the recoil in the movies. That means the weapon was firing something with mass to cause that kickback. In addition, the calculations for mass, velocity, acceleration, and speed would become extremely complicated had the theory fit in. In. What would be the actual impact of firing the noisy cricket? In reality, would a person be thrown back or crashed into a wall? Based on the calculations, the projectile traveling out of the weapon could be traveling at 100 million miles per second, which is more than the speed of light. This makes the projectile to be the fastest moving object. It is faster than the movements in the universe. Such high speeds fall under hypervelocity, a velocity of thousands of kilometers per second. Firing something with relatively high velocity would naturally cause much damage damage, but will it actually make you fly away? With such great momentum and velocity, the body would not fly away, but will take the most impact and dissolve it into the body's movements. Our bodies do not take in the backward force or recoil of the firing from all sides proportionally. The force gets distributed throughout the body's movements, hence due to the flexibility of our bodies, our arms and shoulders would take the most damage. A lot of the damage would even move into the ground. You may get broken wrists and bones but it would still not be scientifically correct to say that the recoil would push you back some meters. Based on all assumptions, calculations, laws, and physics applied, Noisy Cricket is firing projectiles faster than any weapon on Earth, faster than any object on Earth. However, something traveling at 100 million miles per hour would instinctively turn into vapor at this speed. But the movies have shown that Will Smith's shots are apparently vaporization free. The projectile ultimately hits the target and Smith does fly backwards. Noisy Cricket is among the most deadly and powerful in Men in Black. The tiny palm-sized weapon illustrates never to trust outer appearances. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.